Man tries to land a plane let the story commence. Craig was shocked. He woke up on the plane. He was sleeping with a thing around his neck. He's one of these cunts that walk around with the thing around the neck in the airport. He was like, oh, you know, he's already got it. it. Doesn't carry it in his bag. Has it on? I saw that. I saw that in, in holiday. Quite a few of them. Quite a few, a few folk, different folk, different ages. They've just, they've just got. Like, may as well have it on just now. May as well just. This is a good way to carry it. Why put it in the bag when I can carry it there? Um. And he woke up like that. Some screaming. And it was um one of the what do you call them? What do you call the people that work in a fucking um a flight? What they called? Stewards. Not pilots, stewards. Does anyone know how to fly a plane? Some was like, oh, Hijack, they're all going to die. No, no, it's just that the pilot is unconscious. He, he, he's fainted. We don't know what it is, but everything's fine. Does anyone know how to fly a plane and land it? And Craig went like that. Addy, me, oh, your pilot. I've played. Yes, I am. I am. And he got up and, and he went to the the front and he went right right okay okay right this is the it's a Boeing 737 yep 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 do you know how to I, hold on like that the, the, the co-pilot was fucked and all and went like that I've got that aye that's it yep okay may I use the radio and what's the the the, the and and what 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 I I don't know, but all the communication stuff, I I can do that. Uh, yes, I managed to get someone who's. Can you put put the person on right? Hello, and who are you? Um, I rubber I uh rubber ducky here. Um, yeah, pilot. I'm piloting a plane. That means I'm a pilot. And what experience you have? Do you want this plane landed or no? Craig was calling the shots. We'd never been in this situation before. You see, uh, Craig was a sad sack. He was a gamer loser. Smelly. Uh, with a neck beard. Kind of pathetic, pathetic sort of waste of space sort of person. And, and this was his time. And he went like that. Um, I'm actually very experienced in flying a plane because of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Simulator. Right, uh, uh, is this a joke? If you want this to be a joke, I can make it a joke. I could just get up and leave. This is his fucking, his time. This goes out to everybody in the chat who is a, you know, kind of ne like neck beard sort of uh, loser. And you're like, oh, when, when's my time coming? When's my time coming? Here it is. You, you're in this story. You can live through the world of uh, uh, fiction and fantasy. I'm calling the shots now. Now I'm landing this plane. I've, I've been using Microsoft Flight Simulator. Heard wobble. See, that's the thing we're not putting any stuff in my head. You can get a nice wee wobble like that. Like, so if I was in a fight, you'd get a bath. What are you doing? What are you doing? Fucking hot half is. Like that. Um. Right, right, well, you, you need to land this plane. I know what I need to do. I'm the one in control here. Uh, I know, no, that's, that, that's the wrong voice. Um, I know what to do. I'm the one that's in control here. Kind of like that. Okay. And then, and then Craig 
turned to the uh, the woman and went, "I've got this. It's okay. You can take a seat. Well, I'm going to take. I'm going to take care of. All oh, right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. But you know, if you want to come back and sit here at the front with me, that's okay. If you want to sit here with me, with me, it's a pile at this to the ground. If you want to sit here with me." I've got this. Craig couldn't you believe he's actually getting to speak to a woman. Um, and the woman went away and she came back. She said, everybody's, I've managed to calm everyone uh, down. And he said, so do you think like maybe after, after, this Melanda's go for a, a drink. He'd seen that in films. He'd seen uh, what he would call uh, chads and alphas speak like that to women and, and it usually seemed to work. He'd watched all sorts of films, 80s, 70s films, 80s, 90s, the lot. Maybe after this, he'd get a, grab a drink, think I need something to calm my nerves. She went, uh, well, let's see if we get the plane landed first. And and they went like that. You know, I'm probably going to be a bit of, you know, a bit busy with press and so on when I hit when I touch down. You know, this is like a one-off offer, offer, because you've helped me. She said, "I don't, I don't know what you're getting at, but that, that, I really appreciate what you're doing. If you're, if you're, I don't know if you're proposing something, but I have a, I have a boyfriend. But I, you know, we could go, you know, for a, um, you know, three years could go out for a meal together. Maybe you and your girlfriend." And he got a beamer. His face went red when she said that he had a, you know, maybe with your girlfriend because it was just so embarrassing. Because he was confused about a lot of things. First of all, surely. She would know he's not got a girlfriend. They can't let let him uh, would. At least that's how he thought, and that's why he didn't. He? Low self esteem. The low self esteem prevented him from making any connections with people because he felt very little um, of himself. But you know, he had a beam of like. I've not got a girlfriend. And just the whole thing, it was just too much. There was, there was about five, six different thoughts and emotions coming all different directions all at once. And the only way he knew how to react was his, for his face to go fucking bright red. Um. Well, listen. It's this simple. You know, and he'd seen some of the, uh, the more toxic fucking end of all this. The chads and alphas. It's this simple. If I don't get what I want, I walk. I walk. And I just sit down and I watch this whole plane go down. I don't give a shit. If I don't get what I want, I'm going, well, we're all going down. Because I'm like, like the Joker. I'm like the Joker and Joker and, uh, um, you know, um, Joaquin's Joker, who I really identify with, because what do you get when you get like a system that's like got inadequate health care, mental health care, and then you mix it with someone? Um, I can't remember the line exactly, but basically, that's me. Society's let me down, and you know, you'll get what you fucking deserve. That everyone in this flight. You know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm getting up. She says, no, you can't. And she will, she, she put her horn in his shoulder, you know, he kind of, you know, sit him down. No, right, no, come on. And fucking second that horn touched his shoulder, he spunked his fucking load in his, in his fucking wife fronts. His wife fronts were, but he, so he went like, oh. I've done a front whip, see how my trouser snake and he pulled his trousers down. His wife fronts were back to front because he'd been using them for quite a while. So the front was all skid marked. He spunked into the fucking skid marks and pulled them off. She spewed a ringer. Air them all. Air the lot of it. 
and that got him gone even more. Sp spunk for a second fucking time. Never thought he had that in him. Did it the second time he'd seen that he'd seen that in videos, but he didn't think he thought you had to take some sort of special uh, protein or something to do that. But no, he did a, he did a, he did not a second load, um, uh, and then he, he went like that. This is so embarrassing, and he deliberately crashed the plane, killed everybody, including himself. The end. And unfortunately. That's a true story. It's not an improv story, it's actually a true story. How do I know? I changed one detail. You know, I said everybody died. One person survived. One person survived. It was the co-pilot who um was also kind of knocked out, like it fainted, I don't know what happened. I mean, what are the chances of the, the pilot fainting and the second one fucking fainting? I know, through some condition. Did nobody think to check? Well, I was the co-pilot and I was pretending because the pilot had fainted. I'd sort mm. of lied my way into the job thinking I'll never actually be asked to fly the fucking plane. Um, I'll always be a co-pilot. Um... I just sort of bluffed, you know, sort of cheated my way in it. So when it was time to step up, I just thought, I don't know, what, I just don't know what I'm fucking doing. So I pretended to have like, pretended to have a kind of like heart attack as well. That was it. Managed to survive it because I was in the um, uh, jelly mode. You know, see if you just sort of flop about, you get injured less. See people who are steaming. If they're in a, you know, like they've been hit by a motor or some shit like that, they'd actually survive it a lot better than if you're, like, all rigid. See, if you just sort of flop about, you sort of survive things. It's true. What are these fucking phone calls I'm getting? <laughs> 